Welcome to the One Star Week for Show, FIFA 21 edition, starring your host, One Star Week Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Week Foot. Back. Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the One Star Week Foot Show. Your one stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today. One Star Week Foot, and that makes me feel great to see you back on the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail today, we have a massive, massive episode for you guys today. I actually believe it's my first double review since Team of the Season started. So, yeah, your boy's been slacking, but today we're making up for it. Today we're going to be reviewing two of the most sought after Team of the Season cards in La Liga Team of the Season. They're going to be none other than Luisito Suarez and Jordi Alba. So, guys, shall we? Let's take a look at these cards. The first card is going to be the more expensive card. It's going to be Luisito Suarez. And when you look at this card, I mean, he's giving me some vibes, man. He's giving me some vibes of being one of the best striker on this game. And even though he's an ex-red shite, you know, I'm an Everton fan and everything. Um, I have a soft spot for him. I don't know if it was FIFA 17, FIFA 18. He had the League SBC card. And that card is one of my favorite players on the game. Is this card going to live up to the potential? We're going to see. He's six foot tall. He has high medium work rates. He's right footed with a four star, four star combination. As you guys see here, he has played five games for us, all of them in division rivals, and he got six goals and two assists. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you want more content like this, do me a big favor and hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, as always, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. So, Luis Suarez, I mean, what is there not to say about this card? I mean, you could even viably play him as a CM with that 60 defending. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about his actual attacking stats. Shooting-wise, he's nuts. 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing, 97 shot power. What more can you possibly want? I guess maybe a finesse shot trade, but that's just being nitpicky. Passing-wise, he looks like a goddamn cam. I mean, 86 long passing is the lowest stat in upset. Dribbling wise, he looks insane. I'm not gonna lie to you. 97 dribbling, 97 ball control, 99 reactions. I mean, the agility is only 88, so therefore we did throw an engine cam style on him. I think it's really the wisest choice here. That's the only thing we can really boost. Physical wise, he's a monster. 96 aggression, 94 strength, and 86 stamina. Moving on to the next card, we're gonna be talking about Jordi Alba, the left back of Barcelona, the legendary left back of Barcelona. How was he this year? We're gonna see. He's five foot seven. He has high medium work rates. He's left footed with a three star, three star combination. As you guys see here, he has zero goal contributions for us, but that's okay. Let's look at his stats. Um, of course, when you get Jordi Alba, you're gonna be getting some pace. You're gonna be getting some dribbling. You're gonna be getting some uh, passing, especially when you look at his team of the season card. He's gotten some interesting boosts here. Um, he has 81 finishing and 93 attack positioning. So that leads me to believe that even if you want to be crazy, wild and play him as a left winger he probably do a job for you there defending and physical wise he has gotten a big boost but what worries me here is that 72 strength how is that going to affect him is the 90 aggression going to help compensate for that um defending wise he's fine 87 defending is very good at this stage of the game even and yeah i mean if he can get over the strength issue i think he should be a very good card in game but let's see. We're going to jump into the gameplay. I'm going to take you over to our review specialist in the studio. One star week. For take it away. Thanks, one star. Let's get this double review on the road starting with Luis Suarez. He is selling for 950k on the PS4 market. Is he worth it? I would have to say he's a decent value. I do expect him to drop a little bit, but he's a great, great card. We're going to talk about starting with his pace. He has 90 pace. And honestly, it's just as the pace stats would suggest. His 87 sprint speed means that he can get in behind, but once he's in behind, he does get caught up. His 93 acceleration does mean that in tight areas, if you pull off the right skill move, he's going to burst past his defender and score that goal. Overall, this guy's pace is a 9 out of 10. He's very quick. It's a massive upgrade on his other versions, but he's still not elite in this category. Next, we'll talk about shooting, and this is a category he is elite in. He has an unreal shot, and he just has an uncanny way of just getting in the right position to score goals, and that's really down to his 99s in attack positioning and 99 finishing. He's one of these cards that actually live up to the stats, because I know you guys have tried cards at home that don't live up to certain stats. Nah, this ain't one of those cards. He has 97 shot power, which is very evident. I mean, try shooting with him. He's going to shoot an absolute rocket. He has 96 long shots, which are very nice as well to have. And overall, after giving shooting a 10 out of 10, he is a very clinical finisher. And if that's what you're missing, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot from this Luis Suarez card. 
Next we'll talk about his passing, and this was a pleasant surprise from this card. It allows him to play the camp position, which might be a deal for him, honestly, because he only has 90 pace. And I, I say only because the power creep has made that a very average stat at this stage of the game. It's kind of stupid. But going back to his passing, I think he was brilliant. He was a great playmaker of the of the ball. He has 94 vision, 93 short passing, 96 curve, which are brilliant stats, and they definitely translate in game. His 86 long passing means that he could even be somebody who brings wingers into the game. He could he could be somebody that could switch the play very effectively. And overall, I have to give this guy's passing a nine out of ten. He's a very good playmaker and definitely suited for the camp position if that's what you want. Next, we'll talk about his dribbling because the face stat is crazy. 96 dribbling. Does he feel like that in the game? I would say no, all right? Do not get your hopes up to be feeling like an elite dribbler on this game at 96 dribbling. That being said, he's very, very good. I would say he's just a step below elite on the ball. And I think a lot of it just comes down to his body type. A lot of it comes down to his um, only 88 agility. But that being said, I'm being nitpicky. He's very, very good on the ball. He's very maneuverable on the ball. And um, it's very rare to have somebody with such high strength and such high dribbling. You definitely feel that he's very, very sticky. Even when he gets dispossessed, he tends to get second and third chances. Um, his close control is absolutely brilliant. Um, and his L1 and R1 dribbling is very nice. He can get himself in positions to get shots off in tight areas. He has 98 composure, which means that you know, he loves the pressure. Overall, this guy's dribbling is a 9 out of 10. Once again, just a step below elite, but still very, very good in his own regard. Finally, we'll be talking about the physical, and I really absolutely love this part of the card. It makes him special. I mean, how many cards do you have on this game that have almost maxed out strength and aggression at 94 and 96 respectively with very good dribbling? I mean, there's not that many, um, and you definitely notice it in game. I think that's part of what makes him super sticky. It makes him very, very hard to get off the ball in general. I mean, his shielding is brilliant, and his 86 stamina means that he lasts all game. Overall, this guy's physical is a 9.5 out of 10. All right, guys, so what's the final verdict on the Suarez card? I think he's just a well-rounded striker, well-rounded attacker in general. He can do a little bit of everything, and he is elite in the shooting and physical categories. His passing is very good. His dribbling is very good. Um, this is the Luis Suarez we needed on this game, and I got to give him a 9.5 out of 10. If you need a clinical player on your team, this Suarez fits the bill. Next, we're talk about uh, Jordi Alba. He is selling for an extortionate 450K on the PS4 market. Is he worth it? I would say no. Um, I think that much for a fullback at this stage of the game, especially when you, when you compare him to players like Tagliafico, who are very similar cards. I think that's a super high price. I know he has great links, but I don't think the links necessitate that price. We're gonna talk about it though. Starting with his pace, he has 95 pace, and you definitely know it's in game. He's rapid, he's quick, he's everything you want out of a fullback, out of any player on this game, really. Overall, this guy's pace is a perfect 10 out of 10. Next, we'll talk about his passing and dribbling. And I really enjoyed this part of the card. If you like attacking fullbacks, if you like fullbacks that overlap, if you want to maybe even push him in the midfield, because that's what I did in certain games, um, I think he's going to really show his quality there. Um, his 87 vision, 93 short passing, 88 long passing are very, very instrumental in him being a playmaker, being a deep line playmaker, being able to really send through balls down the line if you do choose to play him at the fullback position. And his dribbling on the ball is absolutely brilliant. I mean, this guy feels like an, a winger on the ball. Um, the only thing he's really missing to be able to say like, yo, I would play him at the winger position is the skill moves. But his dribbling is nuts. He has 98 agility, 92 balance, 88 dribbling, 91 ball control. I mean, what more can you want out of a fullback? This guy is the ultimate attacking fullback, if that's what you want out of this player. He also has 94 crossing, which means that he can hit pinpoint crosses. Those R1 crosses with him are going to be absolutely OP. Overall, this guy's passing and dribbling is a 9.5 out of 10. As a fullback, there are not that many better on this game. Finally, we'll be talking about his defending and physical contributions. And unfortunately, this is where I do feel he kind of doesn't justify the price because 450K, like I said, puts him in that category where he should be an elite fullback in every aspect. And while he is an elite fullback as far as attacking, pushing forward, Defensively, he did leave a little bit to be desired, and unfortunately, I do have to pinpoint one stat here. His 72 strength let him down at times. I mean, he did feel weak going into a challenge, and I think if it was earlier in the game, 72 strength is fine on the fullback. But at this stage of the game, there are so many high strength cards that I found him getting bullied. And strangely enough, he was better in the middle of the park as a CDM, as a CM. I found him making a better impact because his lack of strength wasn't as exposed in these areas. 
That being said though, if you have him face on going into a challenge, he has a very clean, very aggressive challenge nonetheless, and his breakup play is noticeably very good. He has 99 stamina, he lasts all game. Overall, I have to give his defending and physical an 8 out of 10. All right, he's not elite, but at the same time, he's not bad. He just did disappoint a little bit given his price tag. All right, guys, so that's going to be my double review for today. I would give this Jordi Alba card an 8.5 out of 10. I don't think he's worth the price at all. Uh, strangely enough, I do prefer Tagliafico to him, who's only an 80K card. Um, but I do think if he drops to maybe 150 or 200, I would, I would say that's a decent price. Um, that's going to be my double review for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode, but until then, 